Today I am going to listen a story about Maleficent's Redemption. In a land far, far away, nestled deep within an ancient and enchanted forest, there lived a beautiful, pure-hearted young woman named Maleficent. She was not like the others who resided in the neighboring kingdoms. Her heart was a reflection of the serene and magical world she called home. Maleficent was known far and wide for her ethereal beauty, with raven-black hair that cascaded down her back and bright, sapphire eyes that sparkled like the clearest of waters. She spent her days tending to the creatures of the forest, singing songs to the birds, and weaving flowers into her hair. Her laughter echoed through the trees, bringing joy and harmony to all who dwelled there. The forest was a place of peace and tranquility, and Maleficent was its guardian. Her deep connection with the land gave her the ability to control the very elements of nature itself. She could command the wind to rustle the leaves and the flowers to bloom at her will. It was a gift that she cherished and used only for the betterment of her beloved forest. But one fateful day, a dark shadow fell over the idyllic kingdom. An invading army, led by the ruthless King Stefan, threatened the harmony of the land. They sought to exploit the forest's rich resources, and in their greed, they showed no regard for the sacred beauty of the realm. Maleficent watched in despair as the kingdom she had protected for so long was torn apart. The once vibrant forest was now being ravaged, and the creatures she had cared for were fleeing in fear. Maleficent knew that she had to act to save her home from destruction. With her heart filled with courage and determination, Maleficent rose to be the land's fiercest protector. She unleashed the full extent of her magical powers, driving back the invaders with storms and enchantments. Her determination and power were unmatched, and she single-handedly defended the forest. Yet, in the heat of battle, a ruthless betrayal unfolded. King Stefan, who had once been her dear friend, betrayed her trust in the most treacherous manner. In an act of betrayal that would haunt Maleficent for years to come, he severed her magnificent wings from her back while she lay defenseless. The pain and anguish of that cruel betrayal began to turn her pure heart to stone. The once pure-hearted guardian of the forest was now consumed by a burning desire for revenge. With her heart hardened, Maleficent retreated into the shadows, vowing to make King Stefan pay for his treachery. In the years that followed, King Stefan took the throne and ruled the kingdom with an iron fist, attempting to erase all memories of Maleficent from the land. But Maleficent's presence loomed in the shadows, and her power grew stronger with every passing day. It was during this time that King Stefan's successor, a young and noble prince named Philip, ascended to the throne. Maleficent, still nursing her wounds and fueled by her thirst for vengeance, devised a plan to strike at the heart of the kingdom. She placed a dark and terrible curse upon the newborn infant Aurora, the child of King Stefan and Queen Aurora, cursing the child to fall into a deep, eternal slumber on her sixteenth birthday, with only true love's kiss able to awaken her. 
As the years passed, Maleficent watched over the child, unseen and unheard. She was both guardian and curse, torn between her burning desire for revenge and a strange sense of responsibility for the innocent life she had cursed. Maleficent's heart, though hardened, still retained a flicker of its former purity. On the eve of Aurora's sixteenth birthday, the forest seemed to hold its breath, as Maleficent's dark magic brought the curse to life. The kingdom fell into a deep despair as King Stefan and Queen Aurora tried to shield their beloved daughter from the impending doom. As the child grew, so did the turmoil in Maleficent's heart. She had expected to revel in her revenge, but instead, she found herself drawn to the innocent Aurora, who had grown into a beautiful young woman with a heart as pure as the forest itself. Maleficent's heart, though hardened, began to soften in the presence of Aurora's innocence and kindness. Maleficent, tormented by her own curse, watched as Aurora wandered into the forest, drawn by an unseen force to the cottage of the three good fairies who had been entrusted with her care. As the fairies told Aurora of her true identity and the curse that hung over her, Maleficent watched from the shadows, torn between her desire for revenge and her growing affection for the young princess. The day of Aurora's sixteenth birthday arrived, and the kingdom held its breath as the curse's final moments approached. The young prince, Philip, who had long harbored a secret love for Aurora, braved the treacherous forest and the thorny brambles that surrounded the castle to reach her side. In the final moments, as Aurora lay in a deep slumber, Philip kissed her with true love's kiss. And in that moment, the curse was broken, and the kingdom was bathed in light once more. Maleficent, watching from the shadows, felt a warmth in her heart that she had long thought lost. The hardened heart that had sought revenge for so many years was now filled with an overwhelming sense of relief and joy. As the kingdom celebrated the return of their beloved princess, Maleficent, with a newfound sense of purpose and redemption, revealed herself to Aurora and the others. She had changed, and she was no longer the vengeful guardian of the forest, but a protector of the kingdom and its people. In the end, it was not revenge that defined Maleficent, but the capacity for love and forgiveness. She had come full circle from a pure-hearted guardian to a hardened avenger, and finally to a redeemed and compassionate soul. The harmony of the land was restored, and Maleficent found her true place among the people and the creatures she had once sworn to protect. Maleficent's story, a tale of action, adventure, family, fantasy, and romance, became a legend in the kingdom, a reminder that even the darkest of hearts could find their way back to the light. And so, in the heart of the enchanted forest, where magic and love reigned, Maleficent's legacy lived on as a testament to the power of redemption and the enduring bond between the land and its guardian. Hope you like the story. Hit the like button and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and turn on the notification. Thank you.